atmospheric circulation. It shows the movement of air around the planet and it shows it in three cells either side of the equator, the Hadley cell, the feral cell, and the polar cell. Each of the cells um, has air that is heat, uh, being heated and therefore rising, low air pressure, and air that is cooling and therefore sinking, high air pressure. As well as the air pressure and the movement of the air, the input of the Coriolis effect means that we lead to very dis or leads to distinct winds at distinct latitudes. Either side of the equator, you have your northeast and southeast trade winds. Uh, a bit further up, so between the tropics and the Antarctic and Arctic Circle, we have our westerlies and easterlies, and then we have a very very uh, windless section along the equator known as the doldrums. At about 60 degrees uh, latitude, we have uh, low pressure systems which leads to rainy and windy conditions like we have here in the UK but at about 30 degrees north and south of the north and south of the equator we have higher pressure systems that leads to sunny cloudless uh, conditions gives us the conditions that we need for deserts to form and then finally near the equator high pressure low pressure systems high rainfall uh, and high cloud formation giving the perfect conditions for the rainforest biomes.